Welcome to the French Chef. I'm Julia Child. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Chef Ramsay. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Greetings, my fellow miscreants, and welcome to the first installment of Cooking with Chef Zilla. Today, I'm actually going to be doing a braised short rib. I uh, got my short ribs from the Ogeechee Meat Market, a, a butcher just down the street from our house. I've got my three cups of wine, and in the immortal words of Julia Child, that's two cups for the recipe and one cup for me. Uh, here is one cup beef stock and a tablespoon of tomato paste. I mixed that already in. Of course, I'm going to be searing this off in a cast iron skillet. Get that started up. Here, I got a whole onion. I'm going to show you one of the biggest tricks of the trade in kitchens. When you're doing something rough and ready that you don't have to actually finish, it doesn't actually matter what it looks like. Onion chopped. Down in the bottom of the, of the I'm using a whatever this thing is, crock pot, because we don't use crock pots in kitchens. Pouring in my, my beef stock and tomato paste. Following that with the red wine. So you're going to let that liquid just warm up. Skillet is warming up. Short ribs are ready. Once the skillet gets hot, you're going to sear them off with a little salt and pepper. A few moments later. So in the skillet, on a high heat, I got a little bit of butter in the pan. Really that's to just kind of add, add a little bit of fat, but it's also to let me know when I think when the pan is hot enough for me to do what I need to. What you're going to do, take a short rib, you get your tongs, you're going to start off bone side down first. Lay them out in your skillet. What you're looking for, and I'll show you as we get there, is a nice brown. The reason we sear is that's to lock everything, all the juice and everything into place. Now, salt. I always recommend kosher salt, coarse, and sea salt if you can find it. So you brown on one side, turn over. Brown on the other side, and then you actually do want to get the sides as well. Now because I flipped them, we get the salt in again. The reason I always recommend cast iron equally even heat and it sustains high temperatures. All right. Crock pot set to low. Got about another three or four minutes on this sear, and then those are going to go 
straight into the crock pot, put on the lid. Oh yes. Now a variation on this, because of what I'm actually going to be using the short rib for is shredding for tacos and nachos. But a variation of this would be after you sear it, you're going to dredge it in flour, put that dredged flour short rib in, into, your, into your crock pot. That flour is going to help thicken so you get a nice gravy. So you could actually take the short rib whole like this, serve it over mashed potatoes, serve it over uh, rice, or pasta. And look at that. Beautiful sear. Right now I can turn off the heat because that cast iron is going to finish heating. And then these are going to go in the crock pot. And that's it. They're going to sit and do that thing for many, 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 many hours. All right. Into the liquid. Cast iron off the heat. And then I'm going to be really gauche. Yes, I'm using boxed wine, but don't hold that against me. Now I'm going to drink my glass of wine from a Pyrex measuring cup. See you guys in about 12 hours. Many hours later. Welcome back. 11 hours later. Everything is set, although the timer still has 12 minutes. It's going to be a little bit long. Now, what I'm looking for here is fork tender. What this should do, when I pull these out of here, put them on the plate, that bone should just slide right out. Now, depending on how you want to serve this, like I was saying earlier about doing the using this as more like a chunk of meat on mashed potatoes or rice, about 10 hours. But because of what we're doing here, I cooked it a little bit longer so that I could actually shred it. Now, the gravy that's in here, I'm actually not gonna use that for this one. But what you can do is take this, Hit it with a little cornstarch slurry, which is just cornstarch and water to thicken it up. And it makes the best. This is delicious goodness right here. So, right here, just slides right off the bone and just shreds beautifully with a fork. And that, my friends and miscreants, is braised short ribs. All together, maybe 20 minutes prep time, 10 to 11 hours of cook time. This, depending on family and how much you eat, this is probably two or three meals. Uh, tonight will be the, the, the nachos. I'll probably do tacos or burritos the next night after that. Uh, this could also be actually cooked ahead of time and frozen and reheated. So try it, let me know what you think. Grab a glass of wine or a bottle of beer and enjoy. Look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks.